Today we're back in Hoi 4 to find out if the Soviet Union could defeat Germany with only infantry. The first step in this challenge is to get rid of all the non-infantry units, because they are no longer welcome in the Soviet army. These guys are just gonna, uh, uh, go live on a farm. Yeah, a farm. I don't need you, I don't need you, I don't need you, but we're gonna need so much of you. One of the early things we're gonna do is get rid of all the people who don't absolutely adore our lovely heartthrob here, Mr. Stalin. I heard that this guy here insulted Stalin's mustache, and the punishment for this crime is, of course, death. Don't worry about this, we'll deal with it later. But right now, we have to focus on getting rid of the people who were nasty to Stalin. Now then, I heard that this guy here didn't compliment Stalin's mustache. The punishment for this crime is death. And finally, this man grew a mustache to rival Stalin's mustache. The punishment is death. Hmm, Stalin, I'm starting to think we got carried away with the punishments for the mustache related crimes because we're kind of left with no one decent in our government. Well, apart from you, Stalin, you're perfect. <laughs> so Spain's having its civil war and I'm kind of reticent to send anyone because my units at the moment are next to useless. Maybe I'm being too harsh. They can't be that bad. Oh my God, it's worse than I thought. They can't even beat the Spanish for God's sake. So my uh, guys have uh, returned home. They were far from effective. Uh, it seems we have a fair amount of improving to do if we want to stand any kind of chance against the Germans. <laughs> to improve the Soviet army, I think we're gonna have to attack one of our lovely neighbors. And I've actually found this place I've never noticed before. Uh, I think it's called Finland? Well, it looks a hell of a lot like Russia to me. Wait a second. Sorry, that, that must have been a trick of the light or something because it's gone now. It's funny, it, it must have been Russia all along. <laughs> oh, isn't that lovely? The Germans want to give us half of Poland in return for a non-aggression pact. Oh, I'm sure this won't come to bite us in the arse later. While me and Stalin wholeheartedly trust the Germans, I think it is perhaps time for us to put all our energy into building up our army, just in case the Germans surprise everyone and attack us. <laughs> the Germans made absolutely terrifyingly quick work of Poland, but they have in fact honoured the pact as me and Stalin knew they would and given us half. Just a quick update, France got destroyed exceedingly quickly as well. Um, lucky we have that non-aggression pact that they're gonna stick to, eh? <laughs> Please? Germany, there must be some kind of mistake. Um, you wouldn't be going to declare war on me, would you? Now, it might surprise you to hear that I've actually prepared for this eventuality. I've built an absolutely massive all-infantry army that, armed with my ingenious plan and a little bit of luck, will be able to hold off the Germans. My ingenious plan rests on one very important fact. I have more manpower than they have bullets. So by this logic, eventually, the Soviet horde will overrun the German army. Well, uh, at least that's the plan, anyway. <laughs> it's time to teach these Germans not to break their promises. Hold, men. Hold the line. Hold. <laughs> this isn't gonna fucking work. <laughs> While this might not look like it's going well, this is perhaps the most ingenious part of my plan. Though there are thousands of men dying on the field, with every death, we only become more powerful. Eh? What the hell is going on down here? Germany, what happened? I mean, I I'm not complaining, but I think it might be time for a change in tactic. Men of Russia, swarm! Holy shit, we did so much better than I thought we were gonna do. We actually aged this one. I stuck to my challenge and didn't use any non-infantry units and it actually turned out to be very, very easy to win as Soviet Russia, just because you have so, so, so many men and such a big industry. We've managed to create our own little iron curtain. Not Maybe not quite as big as in real life, but you know what? It's good enough for me. I really enjoyed playing this little challenge. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it too. If you did, it'd be amazing if you could leave a like. And if you like the stuff I do on this channel, why not subscribe? Thank you for watching. Goodbye!